Hi everybody, today's video is about an Orange Pi PC. It's a mini computer that is quite like a Raspberry 3B or 2B, but it has several drawbacks and two advantages. The links for all the parts are in the video description box. If you compare all of the pros and cons, you'll see that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. That's why I recommend using the Orange Pi PC. The price for raspberries is about $30 to $35, while Orange Pi boards cost around $15 to $18. This is almost half as much. And that is one of the advantages of an Orange Pi PC. Another nice feature is that you can install an almost complete Android system onto an Orange, which you cannot do with a Raspberry. This green Raspberry board is still waiting for developers to provide it with an opportunity to have Android on board, and it's been waiting for more than a year now. And you can install Android 4.2 onto your Orange Pi PC right now. The first disadvantage of the Orange Pi board is overheating. You can skip installing radiators on your Raspberry, and there is surely no need for installing coolers on a Raspberry. The Orange requires at least radiators. Let's look at them both more closely. The blue one is an Orange board, and the green one is a Raspberry. Their sizes are the same. You can install radiators from the Raspberry on an Orange Pi. You can install something more serious here like a cooler, for instance. The second problem with orange boards is a rather small user community compared to the Raspberry. The thing is, Raspberry Company sold about four and a half million of their boards in the last four years. Orange boards are sold in far smaller quantities, and that's why their user community is much smaller. If you're having common problems with your orange, you could get some advice from the community. But if your troubles are peculiar, you'll have to find solutions by yourself. The third drawback is that orange boards don't comply with any SD card. The official website recommends using SanDisk cards, but you can try other types as well. Though no one guarantees they'll work, I recommend obtaining several different cards before you start with an orange. The fourth drawback is this thing. It's a power plug. I cannot tell you why, but they made it 4 by one7 millimeters. It's very inconvenient, as you rarely see plugs like this one elsewhere. And so it looks as if Orange Pi producers want to sell more power adapters of their own. And there were cases when Orange boards didn't work with other power adapters. There is another strange thing. While their official web page recommends using a 2A power adapter, the adapters they sell are 3A. And I wouldn't advise using a Chinese cell phone charger, because its actual rated current is usually not the same as it's stated on the charger. And they're not good for raspberries either. Now the orange is in its case. I'll use a Silicon Power 4GB SD card. I recommend using class 10 cards only. Insert the card into the card reader and connect it to the PC. Open the SD formatter. The link for the software is in the video description section. Go to Options, Format Size Adjustment, On, OK. I have Drive E, and you can have another drive here. Format, OK, OK. Wait till formatting is finished. Now it's ready. Exit. Go to the Orange Pi official webpage and download the necessary version of Android. I have a PC version. Open Phoenix Card. I have a 3.1 version and it's the newest one. Go to IMG file and write your image file address there, the one that you just downloaded from the official webpage. Make sure that there are no Cyrillic signs in the address. Choose Product, click Format to Normal, then click Startup, OK, Burn. The Burn End word should appear when the Burn is finished. Exit. Eject the card from the card reader and insert it into the mini computer.
connect the device to the PC with an HDMI cable. I had a 1 meter HDMI cable when I tried to connect my orange for the first time and nothing worked. I thought the problem was with a power adapter or with a card, but then I used a shorter HDMI cable and it worked. Connect the orange to the TV USB plug. The all winner sign should appear on the screen. Loading. The first loading takes about a minute. Then Android should open. Everything is in Chinese. Click here. There's the gear sign. It's working slowly, but it just started. It will work faster later. Click the letter A. The top one. Choose your language. Here is Russian. Okay, now it's all in Russian. Disconnect the orange, connect an Ethernet cable to it. Turn on the device. Go to the Google Play Market. Type your password here. Existing account. There is an on-screen keyboard. Download anything you want. I want to download the Angry Birds game. So the play market opened rather fast. Another nice thing is that you can plug in the Ethernet cable and you have an internet connection. You don't need to search for MAC addresses or other things. All is working fine and it's a big plus. I downloaded Angry Birds successfully. Here it is. It's loading. I'm playing it now. A joystick is not working for this game, so I'm using a mouse. I have a wired mouse, so now I need to buy a wireless one. This mini computer makes any TV set more fun. If you have any questions, write in the comments. If you enjoyed watching the video, click like and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of interesting tutorials for you coming up soon. See you!